For decades, the world danced to Beijing's magnetic tune. Every electric motor, every wind turbine, every missile guidance system, powered by magnets made in China. One country, holding 90% of the world's rare earth supply, and the rest of the planet, begging for scraps. But now, India is stepping into the fire. Not to buy, to build. A $788 million strike tripling the size of its rare earth magnet mission. This isn't industry. This is its independence, forged in metal and risk. Rare earths are the blood of modern power. EVs, satellite, fighter jets, and surveillance drones. And India's plan is simple. Mine deep, refine harder, manufacture what others fear to touch. Yet beneath that vision, lies the battlefield no one sees because mining rare earths means touching radioactivity, tearing up coastal sands and defying China's price war. One move wrong and India's entire EV and defense dreams could collapse. One move right and New Delhi breaks Beijing's 30-year monopoly. This isn't about money, it's about control. A silent metal war where magnets decide might and this time India is not asking permission, it's entering the ring, swinging steel. Because the future won't run on oil, it'll run on magnets. And whoever controls the magnet, controls the machine.